Juniper is a technique for tree-based visualization of multivariate graphs. A multivariate graph consists of nodes and links that make up the topology and of attributes associated with the nodes and edges. Visualizing both topology and attributes at the same time is a difficult problem, especially for larger graphs. A common approach is to use color encoding, where each node is colored according to its attribute value. This, however, only works for one or two attributes. Tasks related to topology are usually best answered using a node link layout, while attributes can be shown well in table views. But when analyzing multivariate graphs, we need to address both types of tasks at the same time. Our contribution is a technique that supports both topology-based and attribute-based tasks equally well. This is Juniper. The tree visualizes the topology of a subnetwork. The layout guarantees that each node is in a separate row. We juxtapose the tree with the table which contains edge counts and an adjacency matrix in addition to a table that visualizes node attributes. But let's take a step back and start at the beginning. The first step we take is to extract a smaller subgraph from the original network. For our current graph, we select all nodes except for F. Once we've selected the subset of nodes, we extract a spanning tree as shown here. We linearize this tree to assign every node a unique vertical position. An alternative layout is the level layout, which groups nodes by their distance to the root. Tree layout is good for reasoning about topology, while level layout can be used to quickly look at all nodes at a certain distance. We leverage the linear layout to visualize hidden topology and node attributes. The edge table brings back information on edges, which were lost when we extracted the spanning tree. For each node, we also show the number of edges in the underlying graph. We also show an adjacency matrix, which reveals the edges connecting selected nodes. We added node F to the adjacency matrix, which is not part of the tree. This reveals that F has edges to the G and C nodes. Finally, the attribute table allows the user to see attributes associated to each of the nodes. Hovering over a node reveals hidden edges. We see here that B has hidden edges with C and D. Let's take a look at how these concepts are implemented in Juniper. Here, we have loaded a bipartite network of papers published at CHI and in TVCG and their authors. We search for the tree plus paper and add it to Juniper. We query for its neighbors, which are the authors of the paper. We see that Ben Bederson has published 28 papers at CHI and one paper in TVCG. We want to drill down in the tree and see what papers Catherine Plaisant has published. Juniper shows a default set of attributes, but we can easily add others. To quickly see the most recent paper, we can sort by year. We are also interested in knowing if Catherine has published other papers with her Tree Plus co-authors. We see that Ben Bederson has co-authored a second paper with her. We can re-establish the connection between Ben and this paper by selecting Gather Children on Ben's row. Ben has an additional 27 papers that are not presently in the tree. We can add those by clicking on the plus icon. We can also bulk expand all children of these authors. Level layout groups the nodes according to their distance from the root and their type. Hence, we see all of these authors' papers grouped together. Looking at the adjacency matrix, we see the three most prolific authors, Catherine, Ben, and Bong Xin. We can also see that some of the co-authors have collaborated together on other papers. We can also manually add nodes to the matrix. Sorting on the adjacency matrix brings all rows that have that edge to the top, making it easier to analyze the connections to a node of interest. We see that these authors have published many papers which do not fit on the screen. To address this, we introduce aggregation. We can use aggregation to condense the vertical space used by this tree. Aggregating in tree layout preserves the connections between parent and children while aggregating all leaf nodes. Aggregating in level layout results in a very compact view where all nodes at a given level are aggregated into a single row. One downside of aggregation is that it obfuscates the details of a node. If we, however, are interested in a specific subset of nodes, we can use attributes to define a degree of interest function, which preserves individual rows for these nodes. Here, we define a DOI function such that nodes B and G are of interest. Aggregating will now assign B and G unique rows while aggregating all others. Let's go back to Juniper to see this in action. 
Aggregation in tree layout groups all of the leaves, resulting in an overview of all of the tree plus authors and their papers grouped by conference. We can see that only Catherine and Bong Shin have published in both Kai and TVCG. All other co-authors only have papers of type Kai. We can see that Catherine has been publishing at Kai consistently since the early 90s. She only started publishing at TVCG in the 2000s when Viz papers started to appear there. Let's look at Catherine's prolific co-authors. First, we make her root of the tree and expand all her children. Then we switch to level mode and aggregate. This leaves us with an aggregate of all her co-authors. We want to reveal the prolific co-authors, so we set a DOI function to multiple publications at Kai. We see that this list includes Ben Schneiderman and other frequent Kai authors. A common task in graph exploration is to analyze paths between nodes. Let's suppose we are interested in understanding the connection between Nicholas Elmquist and the Node Tricks paper. Searching for this connection populates the path panel with all the paths connecting Nicholas to the Node Tricks paper. We see there are two shortest paths of length three that connect the two nodes. The path through Jean Daniel goes through a hidden edge, which is highlighted on hover. We can choose to reorder the tree so that the nodes in a path are laid out sequentially. This can be useful when we want to study the progression of attributes along a given path. This concludes our tour of Juniper. Thanks for watching our video.